yeah, is yeah, it was an embarrassment to show at E3 because it's not E3 worthy. But is it still a good game? We'll find out. As you can see, we have uh, various games. We have lessons. We have jams. We have music videos that you can make. For uh, for the games, we have Me Maestro, which you can conduct. But please, for the love of God, don't act like this guy. Handball harmony, you play with the handbells and pitch perfect, it's, you gotta pick the pitches. We also have lessons, and <clears throat> the bad news is you have to complete almost all the lessons to get all the songs and instruments. We, you can make music videos, which are pretty cool. And, of course, the main part of the game, the jam. Let's take a look at the instrument improv. Now, there are at least, there are over, there are over 50 instruments. There are pianos. There are xylophones. There are guitars. Violins. Various amounts of drum sets. And even the almighty cowbell. Let's take a look at the jam mode. Now you pick which character you want to jam with, as you can see I'm playing as Cooking Mama. You pick your song. Now the good news is there's about 50 songs to choose from. The bad news is Freebird is nowhere to be found. But as you can see they have some video game music, like Youth City and Legend of Zelda. Nintendo game they threw in Super Mario Brothers, of course. And there's some real songs in here too, like Daydream Believer by the Monkeys. The Locomotion. Every breath you take by the police. And of course they also have some uh, classical songs like Over the Waves. Night music, Beethoven symphony, symphony, you know, Yankee Doodle. But you can still make some pretty kick ass remixes of them. Now, for the sake of this review, let's just play the Wii Sports theme. Now, you can choose from a various amounts of places to play at. Let's play at the High Rise apartment. There are six parts in total. And you know, the only thing that really makes me mad is that you can't make any of them Mies unless you record their parts individually. As you can see, we have different styles we can choose. That's a reggae style. We have, let's see here, a Hawaiian style with the ukuleles. Pop style. Classical style. Japanese style. Now, this is where it kind of gets like Guitar Hero, as you can see, it shows you where to play the notes. You don't have to be exact. In fact, you can improvise a little bit, and that's what I like about this one. See? At the end of your jam, you'll be able to make a music video. And you can make a little cover for your little CD for the music video. You can place your characters, you can choose the background. It's pretty cool. Then you'll be able to watch your music video and save it and send it to all your little buddies who also have Wii Music. If there was, if there is one thing, if there is one major complaint I have about the Wii, it's the third party. It's the third party support. And I'm not talking about games, I'm talking about accessories. Let's take a look. For Wii Sports, Nerf has created a Wii Sports package, which includes a foam baseball, a foam tennis racket, and a foam golf club that you connect to the Wii to make this 
to make the gaming experience more realistic, I guess. And while I applaud Nintendo for their innovation and ingenuity for trying to get gamers into the game, there's got to be a line, okay? There's got to be a line to be drawn. I mean, for fuck's sake, we got a lightsaber and pom-poms for the Wii. What's next? Is Animal Crossing going to have a pickaxe and a shovel? Is One Piece Unlimited Adventure going to have a fishing pole attachment? Is Trauma Center going to have a medical kit? Oh wait, they already have that. Son of a bitch. In closing, the Wii is a good system. It has a lot of things going for it. And as far as I can tell, it has the least hard amount of hardware problems. Now, I mean, think about it. The PS3, you got to get like four versions of it, and some of them aren't even backwards compatible. The, the Xbox 360 runs like a jet engine and breaks down faster than the fucking Pinto. And the Nintendo Wii... No problems that I can see of it. I mean, the on, I mean the um, getting on the internet works fine. You can surf the internet. There's a lot of stuff you could do with it. As for virtual console games, a lot of people said they're rip off. Oh no, they're. I understand that you can get some Nintendo games at a garage sale for like a nickel, but there are some Nintendo games that people are selling for over twenty bucks. Castlevania Three, I've seen for thirty bucks. You're lucky you're getting it for five on the virtual console, so stop fucking complaining. Seriously, and as for ROMs, oh, you can download ROMs for free. Some of them don't even work. Some of them you can't even get because of copyright infringement. So you're better off spending a little bit of money to get all these games for five bucks or under. Sometimes they're eight bucks, sometimes they're nine bucks, depending on if you get um, the Genesis or Super Nintendo or even a PC Engine games. So, and imports cost about a buck more. So... I really don't see how it's a rip-off. And as for everybody complaining about, oh, the Wii's not for hardcore gamers, oh, they did their fan base and said, fuck you to it. Okay, Brawl, Twilight Princess, Super Mario Galaxy, Metroid Prime, four games that have been released in a little under two years for the Wii, and you're saying that hardcore gamers can't enjoy it? Fuck you, okay? I, and as for all, and as for all the game, third-party games that are like, oh, they're stupid, they're for kids. You know what? I don't give a shit. They're fun. Okay, a good game to me is if it in, if it's enjoyable and fun. I don't give a shit about graphics. Halo Three can go fuck itself. I don't give a shit. Most I don't give a shit about story most of the time. I just like a game that entertains me. Okay, I'm gonna. I don't give a shit about the story, even though there are times where it's important. And I sure as hell don't give a fuck about voice acting. So, the Wii, while it may have some stupid, stupid kitty games, at least they're fun to me. So, I don't know what people are complaining about. Like, like take a like, look at um, Battle of the Bands. Okay, a game that gets so much hate. And thank you for Helsing920 for recommending this game to me. It's fucking fun as hell. Okay, oh, it's a Guitar Hero ripoff. No, it's not. You're not even strumming. You're not even... You're not even holding a guitar. It, it, it's a timing system. And I'll go more in deep with it. I'll go more in deep with it when I eventually review it. But Battle of the Bands gets way too much heat for claiming, for trying to compete with Guitar Hero when it's clearly not trying to compete at all. It's trying to be its own little thing. And as for Brawl, I still think it's an okay game. It's fun as hell with your friends, but it's just got too much hype with it. Super Mario Galaxy, fun as hell, probably one of the best Mario games I've ever played. Twilight Princess, not as good as Ocarina, but still fun, even though it's a little bit too easy. Never, I haven't played Metroid Prime yet, so I don't know about that. I really don't see Metroid as a first-person shooter to me, so... Alright, I'm going on a rant. I'm going to end this shit. Now, whether you're a casual or hardcore gamer, I would recommend the Wii, because I... It's a little under. It's a little over two bucks. It's affordable. May seem a little bit expensive, but it's affordable. But good luck trying one. Good luck trying to find one. Okay, I got mine ordered in September, and I eventually got it for Christmas. Okay, as the as a IGSRJ says, this system is harder to find than fucking Osama bin Laden. Yeah. So you're better off back ordering one or getting one over the internet or something, because good luck trying to find a Wii. At least. Uh, Especially right now. I can't even get a Wii Fit. Every, everywhere I go, they're sold out. So, well, 
Hope you enjoyed my review. This is Big Al 2K6. It is a great system. It has its flaws, but it's still a pretty good system. It has a lot of good games going for it. It might seem stupid and retarded. This is Big Al 2K6 with Chitty Roth. Hope you enjoyed my review. And as always, I am the judge, the jury, and the executioner. Over and out. So, how about a round of Guitar Hero?